So we, Joan and I have been driving around the Mach-E for the past day and we're really enjoying and thoroughly enjoying the performance and all the cool stuff that goes with a silent vehicle. Um, but we have our own opinion, but we thought it'd be really cool if we got the opinion from people that actually own uh, a Mach-E. Do you, how many miles do you actually have on it now? Uh, 4,780. Wow. Um, which is actually not a lot considering we've had it for seven months, but, um, partially it's because we're working from home. Um, and then as people that have watched our channel know, we actually got rear ended one month and one day after we bought the car. So it was in the shop for seven, seven weeks. weeks, seven long weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. I hope you're okay. Yeah. We're okay. The car had uh, uh, like eleven thousand in damage. In yeah. The wow. Um, and it's it's perfect, perfectly fine now. Um, but yeah, it's it, it was not a it's not a good feeling to have. Like I I literally made my first car payment like two days after oh I went in the shop. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. But we got to document the experience and share with people how much it costs, how difficult it is, and and how safe the vehicle is because we definitely unfortunately got to test that out too yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it definitely felt it feels like a safe vehicle it definitely feels safe yeah so, and it's we like a pretty good now. hit yeah it, it, it was from a, a van hit us and yeah. um I think the van actually looked worse than the, the Way Mach -E. worse. Uh, yeah. and you got you traded in a Subaru WRX for the Mach-E right yeah yeah and and, and I, I i was telling you when you were out here in Colorado, it's like on paper the wrx is uh quicker than the maki -E, um probably handles better you know but the, the maki -E is so much more fun to drive and part of that is is that driving a turbo four-cylinder stick shift it's a lot of work and, and you, i know and, 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 and i don't it, it, it's it's sort of like a first world problem. I'm like it's it's fun to do, but at the same time it's it's actually a lot of work, especially like going in the mountains where you're uh, upshifting, downshifting, and all of that. And then in, in the Maki, it's one pedal, and it is instantly That's quick. And with the turbo, you sort of have to. I know. <laughs> so I I'm yeah. I'm in the same boat. I have a 1.6 four cylinder turbo manual. I have a Ford Fiesta ST. Um, so oh, I'm going in the yeah, same exact fun. way that you guys are. I mean, it, you know, going from three pedals down to one, um, I, I don't hate it. I can tell you that much. Yeah. Um, and I was like, what do you yeah, mean one yeah. pedal? I'm yeah. like, what? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it is a totally different concept. Huh? And, and just a note, I think going from three pedals to one is easier than two pedals to one. And right. I think it's because we're used to, um, you know, when you drive a stick shift, you got to modulate the uh, the clutch and the throttle a little bit more than you do in an automatic car. So I think that's why I like the, mm. the transition to one pedal. Yeah. 